Greetings, Keishlings. Keish Prime here with my live reaction to Unordinary, a chapter or episode 208. It's going to take some getting used to, to calling it episodes. Um, but yes, um, I've been following this series for the better part of a year. Um, my buddy Richard told me about it, and I, I just like, okay. And my immediate impression was, it's my hero, but most people are assholes. <laughs> So, and that opinion has not really changed all that much. I mean, you know, there's good people in there, and like, as you learn their situations and everything, a lot of that makes more sense, but given the, the societal system they have in place, it makes sense why they're that way, but it still sucks that they're that way. <laughs> You know, they're not serving the public. Hell, they've completely outlawed people from even presumably ever pursuing, you know, a heroic, um, like, uh, like avenue of employment. You know, in My Hero, it's like a, like a governmental kind of job, but here, like, vigilantes, which, and also My Hero, they're outlaws, so, you know. But, uh, yeah. Anyway... Um, so yeah. Also, um, I've enjoyed the series enough that I want to promote three videos that I've done of power-ups for three of the characters thus far. I still have one on the back burner, but I have, um, first it was, uh, Blyke, then I did Eevee, and then I did Remy. So, uh, so go check those out if they interest you. But uh, let's see here. We've we've got the school playground. It looks like here, and there's Arlo, and he's looking at his phone. Arlo. <clears throat> okay, so he was the one who sent the note. All right. It's been a while. Yes, Serafina. Uh, what did you call me here for? Wait. What? I'm confused now. Oh wait, that was on. That wasn't the note. So the note might have actually been John then. So they're probably talking about like a, a text message that I, I forgot. <laughs> um, I wanted to ask, how's the situation with Terrence? Huh? You've been supervising him at the safe house, right? Does anything stand out about him? Uh, ellipses. Ah, uh, the safe house. Actually, I quit. Arlo. Really? Why? Because it's a distraction. I've got my own things to focus on. Like I said, that it's like prestige and power went out in this society, opposed to the more you know dutiful, heroic nature that is my hero, and it's infuriating while also interesting about this series. So, uh, hmm, correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't that your purpose for joining us in the first place? And he's like, "Crap, she's got me." Um, to observe Terrence, to figure out what the what the deal with Ember is. You said you lost someone important to them, remember? Yes, because he hasn't revealed that it was Remy's older brother. Um, Ray. But, uh, now he's thinking of his aunt. You'd rather put energy into things that are already being handled by the authorities. And that have absolutely nothing to do with you. And he's like, hmm... I've confirmed with my aunt, who works for the authorities. They have it all taken care of. Do they, though? So. What was that noise? Um, taken care of? That's where you've got... You're gonna leave it. You know they haven't helped me with my powers, right, you son of a bitch? Um, yeah, when was the last time she got an update on that? N none at all. So. You're satisfied with that response? Look, Serafina. If the authorities don't have an answer, then what can we do? Pursuing this is a waste of time for both of us, and you know it. Well, I've got plenty of time to waste. Yeah, I mean, she's not a royal anymore. She can't really do much of nothing. Oh, she has the paper. Here. Huh? What's this? So it is from John, then. He's like, huh? Someone slipped this into my textbook today. And there's the... Friday, 5.30 p.m., the address, and then let's make a deal. With Wayne Brady! 
Um, but anyway, I couldn't think of anybody who'd logically want to make a deal with me, aside from the people who tried to abduct me. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Don't tell me you actually plan on going. Yep. That's stupid, and it's not going to end well. Hmm, could be if you came along. And she's like, if you came along, <laughs> you know, you protect me with your shields or your barriers, you know, things like that, because I don't have my powers anymore. <laughs> also, the fact that, like, yeah, why do they want her again? Just to have a hostage for money? Or is there another reason that we're not aware of? Anyway. Arlo, you're one of the only people who knows the full situation. This is our chance at finally getting answers. Don't bail on me now. You're right, I know exactly what these people are capable of. They're dangerous. So instead of handling your, or handing yourself over to the group of kidnappers, why don't you report this to the authorities? It's because they are the authorities! <laughs> I think. To be honest, I think everything's attached to the authorities. I mean, Ember definitely seems to be like some kind of like, kind of like S.H.I.E.L.D. is to the U.S. government. Ember is that to the authorities in uh, the universe, so yeah. So that's just what I'm thinking, and I think a lot of people have come to that conclusion. But I came to that conclusion like a while ago, it was like, because the authorities don't tell you jack. They, they have some very dark methods, which, you know, government's tend to have um but yes um but like going around like taking out people who kind of are doing what you're supposedly supposed to be doing definitely seems like it would be the government's doing i know i just said doing a lot um but anyway right and let them take care of it like uh they're doing with ember and everything else <laughs> he's like you got me you Bitch. Look, Arlo, these people want to make a deal. So I have something they want, and more importantly, they have something I want. And what's the one thing I'd want from them? I won't allow... Is it getting her powers back, or is it something else? Or is it frickin' dampener tech, and you want to, like, fight John hand-to-hand? -hand? Like, that would be awesome if that crack theory came true but i doubt that's the case what am i forgetting um i won't allow the the uh, the theories well i guess i won't allow the theories to get involved but the authorities um to get involved and risk losing this opportunity you realize you're uh, basing this all off a piece of paper right listen i searched up the address earlier and it points to a public cafe friday afternoons are the busiest times for places like these they can't all, or they can't pull anything with uh, so many people around, and they know this. So it's clear they're not looking for a fight. <clears throat> and he's like, hmm, good point. That's some wishful thinking. Have you forgotten what these people did to you? I mean, they did attack her literally in the streets in broad daylight, so it's like, <laughs> I mean, who's to say they won't, like, use like dampener tech to like dampen all the ability users in the cafe and just like bum rush their way in well that's why I'm asking you to come along as a precaution what plus you can't tell me you aren't at least a little bit curious don't you want to see these people for yourself don't you want to know who they are learn what they want Sometimes I do wonder what what the purpose of all of this, like taking away people's powers, or are they literally stealing them in some weird way? Like if it's not like the quark annihilation bullets, is it like some kind of like like tech that can steal a power? Like and then they're like trying to make like some uber villain in the background, which this series doesn't seem like it would go that angle, but who's to say? Um, but yeah, like, you know, just like trying to find like, ooh, there has been like, there, um, I forget, but it's Serafina's, uh, older sister and like, she's working with like 
like kind of the lineage kind of deal like learning like the origins and whatnot I believe I could be wrong on this um, about like where these abilities originate from what if they're trying to find the like the um, the progenitor of all abilities um, and it's like something like that I don't know and he's thinking of his aunt again focus on yourself and on building your own resume don't allow yourself to be distracted by all the noise around you he's thinking no why did you have your fiery claws in him um if you want to throw yourself into danger then go ahead it's none of my business so don't drag me into it hmm I figured you'd be against it uh, just so we're clear hello loud truck <clears throat> guess truck everybody I know what I could be getting myself into but I've already lost everything so I can't have the patience to walk around or yeah wa wait around forever <laughs> walk around forever um, it's fine if you don't want to get involved I think she's pressuring him into this like he's eventually going to crack or he's saying no right now but he knows the time and place so it's likely he might just show up and she won't be expecting it that's how I'm thinking be it if it'll align like maybe he'll keep himself kind of hidden so if anything does happen he can jump into action and you know like whoever these people are they'll they'll not be expecting it because you know they just assume she's the only one coming so and hell he might bring back up you know Blyke would most likely be healed up by then you might get Remy involved and Ison as well you know because I, I could definitely see them you know trying to help out their friend especially in this kind of situation but I don't know if they would actually if he would involve them because they don't know about that yet but they've been doing their own stuff so who's to say that's maybe when their respective situations intertwine you know like that I don't know anyway thanks for seeing me I'll figure something else out and he just keeps looking at the paper as she's walking away hmm he's staring at it she just left the paper with him so that definitely gives me the hint that my idea that he might just show up and like maybe stay hidden or something likely will play out. Wellston's boy's dorm. Hello, John. Y you use a sweaty boy. Head into the room. What? What? I can't tell if those are doors or just gray inside walls. The art style is just that way because she doesn't draw doorknobs. <laughs> So it's like every door is just a gray void with nothing there. But, uh, so it's like, is the door closed or is it open? But anyway, he, he's noticing something. Ah, now we get a door handle. Yay. Oh, he's thinking of black. Hey, morning. You're avoiding the safe house. Because you can't accept... He's thinking of Blark, so that's probably just, yeah. Because you can't accept the high rankers you hated so much have actually made some progress. I love that they finally broke through last chapter. Like, they were already having hints of it, but that was when it was, like, I think, like, so plainly stated. And I love it. Last chapter was great for that. That was a big step. Because, like, Serafina says it, you know, like, that's just how society is, even though Blyke is obviously like, we gotta change this stuff. Like, you know, just because we have power doesn't necessarily mean that we can just do whatever we want. And John's allowed to do whatever he wants, where's the line? And she's like, but that's just how this, the system works. It's like, they're, we can't do anything about that. But can they? Who knows? Start a revolution, maybe changing the minds of a whole generation, and then the generations that follow, and then this mindset will slowly wane over time. I hate to equate it to racism, 
but it kind of works in the same way. Just the impacts and everything are obviously different, but um, the societal change is the same. But, um, yes, but let me know your thoughts and opinions on that. Um, shut up! And there he's punching the wall, and he's thinking, avoiding the safe house. You should be grateful I let it survive for this long. I think he actually did something to the door. There's there's lines on the door. Oh, you you might want to go to the infirmary, John. I think you busted all four of your knuckles. Um, you just watch. Tomorrow I'll expose you frauds. Those pompous frauds! Um, uh, for who you really are. I swear, John, why haven't you just gone to check things out? Okay, Blyke is walking down a dark alley? What? Oh. Oh, well, this is uh, Blyke having a nightmare because that's literally everybody. There's Ison, there's poor Remy Chan, and they're, they're all just all on the ground. And John with them glowing orange eyes. S stop! What the fuck are you gonna do about it? Yeah, th that's kind of about what he said when he was beating up those two kids, like, uh, week before last, so. I, and he's woken up. He's like, ugh, God, it was just a nightmare. But it's like he still feels powerless. Ugh, that asshole. We can't get peace with him around. Someone needs to take him out. Oh no, don't even think about the frickin' power enhancer now. Ison, why did you put that thought in his head? God damn it. Hey, you think John could uh, amp the amp? If any of us takes these, maybe they can beat him. The flashback. What, what if? Yeah, I don't know if he can, like, that... His power is interesting. The fact that he, like, mimics the auras of other people, so then he gains their abilities and then also powers it up. But is... The amp is, like, more of a biological thing, but then again, their aura is kind of biological as well, so it's like, I don't know. Unless you test it, there is no... There's no definitive answer to that. But I imagine it won't be good if he can copy. <laughs> okay, Blake's getting ready. And Ison just comes like, I'm opening the door. Hey, what's taking so long? Uh, um, give me like two minutes. Dude, I could have been naked. It's my room. <laughs> uh, God, I'm just going to wait downstairs. Hurry up. Okay. So what what's going oh he's he's going he's looking at his coat pocket, which is where they are, aren't they? He's grabbing his jacket. Oh one of the canisters falls out, and that is the end of the chapter. Or episode. Like I said, it's gonna take me a while. I I'll probably still call it like episodes on the YouTube video, but I may still call them chapters in the video because that's just how my brain has been hardwired. I even when I just when I read, like, regular comics and stuff, I always say, like, chapter instead of, like, issue or whatever. So, you know. But, uh, yeah. Ooh, that didn't take as long as I thought it would. L last chapter seemed really long, especially on my reread through. But, um, but, yeah. Okay. Uh, like I said before, um, now that Serafina, like, has, you know, contacted Arlo, you know, with her, like, contact from whatever group or faction they are. I would assume they're not part of Ember, but they might be. Like some like Ember might be having like different divisions. Like they you know, they have like their quark quark. Their their power boosting faction or sector. And then they have a sector for the dampener tech. And then they have like full on like power annihilation, maybe. But it's like, what would they want more from Serafina? Like, if it's stealing her power, maybe they had to, like, try to take her out and, like, nullify it so that they could capture her 
to then take her somewhere and then from there they literally just remove it from like her genetic code or whatever and then they have like the time manipulation power or use her as a hostage for money which I would think would be kind of stupid because they seem to be getting along fairly well and if they are affiliated with Ember they probably have all the government funds they probably could ever need I don't know um, but yeah, I think given that they're going to be in a crowded area and everything, there's probably going to be a fight. Maybe they like dampen the whole area to take out all the power users. And then from there, they can just easily bum rush their way in, kidnap Serafina. And then from there, you know, she's just another kidnap victim in this world, sadly. Um... And then whatever happens to her afterwards, like I said, I kind of theorize what it might be, but I don't know. Surely they wouldn't need her anymore unless they actually already stole her power, and then maybe they could facilitate a plot somewhere when she's at the facility, maybe, to, like, reclaim it. Like, the vial has it, and it's, like, glowing in the vial or whatever, and she's like, this is my power. I can feel it. And she, like, gets it into a syringe and she, like, injects it into her arm. And then it's like, it's time <laughs> kind of deal. And then she just wrecks their facility. Um, I don't know. This is just the theories of the Mad Mad. Uh, but anyway. But yeah, I think considering that Arlo keeps looking at that paper and Serafina is his friend. I could definitely see him either coming alone or maybe bringing some backup as well, but not being letting her be aware that he is there, so that if something were to happen, he can at least try to step in and uh, mitigate the situation. But I don't know. Other than that. Um, and then, of course, yeah, it definitely seems like uh, Blake might uh, boost himself. Um, which is kind of troubling because, as I mentioned, and uh, as Ison also said, that um, can John amp the amp? So it's like, it's something you have to test or otherwise you never know. But then, you know, maybe that could give, like, John a weird, like, false sense of security in a way. Because, like, he, you know, he's saying it's like, dang, you got really strong, but guess what? I'm always going to be stronger. And then, you know, like, then they try to fight him again, and they're not as strong, and it's like, he thinks, oh, I'll just copy that uber ability you've got, apparently. And then it's like, huh, what's up with you? Your, your powers aren't as powerful as they once were. What, what's going on there? I don't know. That So that might be something. Uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense, obviously, but there could be an interesting plot tangent there. Um, so, yeah, I, I, it seems like Blake is definitely hitting the, the path of taking out John by using the, the power booster. And um, John apparently is going to expose the safe house tomorrow which what day of the week is it like we know friday is when the meeting for seraphina and the hostage group i guess i don't know what you want to call them um quirks quirk i i swear uh, me attaching my hero to this has really <laughs> messed my brain up um the power ability um like stealing dampener annihilation group whatever um, so yeah, that's on Friday, but we don't know what day it is. So it's like, is this all going to be happening on a Friday? Because Serafina won't be there. Unless this is, a, well, it'll be after school, but it's like, so would the club still be going on? I doubt it. Hmm, maybe not. I don't know. Um, but yeah. So a lot of this could be happening all at the same time as far as we're aware, but who knows. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this. Um, let me know if this is something you would like me to continue to uh, continue on with. Um, probably as long as it's getting views and I'm enjoying it, I'll probably continue on like with all my other series. So, uh, But I hope you enjoyed it. 
but yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this. If anything I missed, misunderstood, please let me know down below. Check out my other content, see what you like, suggest things for the future. Links down below for all my social media so you can keep up with my content and have ways to contact me. I stream on Twitch where I do gaming, and I'll tweet out when I go live. Part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. And as always, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, quichelings. Itchy nose. Out.